back to Watercolor with Kendra. Today we're going to learn about the Spring Basket by AI and it is one of their mini series. So you can see this is the Spring Basket. It's super cute. I just used a few little colors in here and I will show you how to do this. Now I want to remind you that this video is not going to be highlighting the basics of the foliage and flowers. So you're gonna find all of those things in my starter videos, the basics tools. So I will highlight like the brush I use, the paper I use, all of that. And then the second video, the basics foliage and flower. And those are the two starters that you'll want to refer to. I'll link those below so that you can go watch those if you would like to. And, um, but let's get started. This is gonna be a really fun tutorial. If you liked my previous videos or you're interested in watercoloring, I would encourage you to subscribe here. You're going to learn all kinds of new things. So I hope you join me and I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, like and comment and we'll get started. Started For this project, I'm just going to be using four colors. So it's going to be really simple. It's the number 20 magenta, number 8 violet, 15 olive green, and the 86 African Violet, and these are all Marvy La Plume 2 markers. So we will go ahead and get started. We're gonna do that basket. So I'm just going to ink my stamp, just like so. And we'll get all these covered. All right, and I'm using my Fiskars Press. If you aren't familiar with these, these are just amazing presses. I absolutely love them and I use them a lot. Okay, so get that down. Now we're gonna take our brush and we are going to start pulling the color right out of the lines on this little basket. And I'm going to bricklay this so that I am leaving white space. So remember in previous videos, I've talked about highlight and how important it is. Same thing here. We need to have that highlight. Otherwise, it's going to be really flat looking. And we do not want flat. We want it to look 3D. We want it to look realistic. So we're going to leave some of that white space, okay? So I'm just gonna leave it really simple like this and then I'm gonna move on, okay? So for everything else that I'm gonna be doing, I'm going to be using um, the watercolor basic sets that I've highlighted in my basics video. So I will link that below if you want to check that video out. And uh, while I'm showing you the sets, the one that I'm using now is the spring basket set. It comes with four different stamps and I will be highlighting all of these in this video as well. So let's take our Daisy Bunch. This one's in the flower set. And I'm just going to stamp a little cluster of this with my magenta. So I'm gonna take this and just start going one, two, three, four, five. Remember we wanna do a series of five images before we re-ink because we want that generational stamping and that dark to light value. And I'm gonna sound like a broken record when it comes to that, but it's that important to get those in. You can see the, the darkness and then the lightness in there. Okay, so keep going. However many of these you want to put in, feel free to do that. This is your garden. I've said it before, I'll say it again. Things grow how they grow. So you don't have to worry about being perfect. It's actually better if you're not perfect because nature is perfectly imperfect, right? Okay, so now I'm gonna put in some teeny tiny flowers. And this stamp is meant to stamp on either side. So we won't use the entire stamp at one time. So I'm gonna just use this uh, more condensed side with lots of teeny tiny flowers and I'm just going to stamp this in several times as well to get that dark and light value and once again I can put these wherever and I'm going to put some in here and some in here the nice thing about these is you can put them wherever it's really there is no right and wrong 
and you don't have to worry about mistakes because that's just where it grew. Okay, so now let's add our water. Ooh, Butterfingers. Let's add our water here. I'm going to start with the pink ones and I'm just dabbing, hand resting on the table and I'm dabbing all around here, leaving white space even within my flowers. You can see that leaving a lot of white space in there for my highlight and just keep moving around. And then I'm going to come in to my little violet teeny tiny flowers in here. And if I want to add more flowers later, if I'm not satisfied with the amount, I totally can do that. But for now, I'm happy with how many I have. All right. Now I'm going to take my little vine from my foliage set. That's this one. Okay. And then number 15, olive green. And I'm just going to ink partial stamp just so that they're kind of peeking out and I'm going to stamp that right in. Sometimes using your stamps to their fullest potential means using just partial stamp, right? And you can keep moving around. I like to sort of have things like hanging off the edge. Okay, and I'm going to add my water now. Just all in here. And I'm not touching every leaf, just touching some of them to blur those lines. All right, and that's good. Now I'm going to come in with the flowers from the little spring basket set, which are these little flowers. And then actually these are little twig type foliages and we're going to put those in as well. So I'm going to use that same 15 olive green and ink these. And I'm just going to extend those out a bunch of times so that they just sort of are reaching out like that and then I'm going to come on the other side with the opposite sprig and I'm going to put these ones a little bit higher just so I'm not getting the exact same on the other side. I like asymmetrical things so I want to kind of keep it like that. And now, you guessed it, we are going to add our water and just dabbing again all around. So my video actually just cut out. I wasn't aware it wasn't still filming. So I did my best to make it as close as I could to the previous one. And I'm just going to continue now where I left off on this new one. All right, now I'm going to come in with that final flower, that little stem that's in the spring basket set. And I'm gonna use number eight violet and color the bloom. And the number 15 olive green for the stem. And I'm gonna come in and just do a series of about five to seven little blooms. And same thing with the other side. I'm going to come back in, re-ink this, and put a few over here. Just like that. You can see I left this center area open because I wanna extend my handle up in here. And I'm gonna show you how I do that. So I'm gonna take the same color that I used on the basket, which is the 86 African Violet. And I'm going to use the detail tip and I'm going to follow this line up. So here's the remainder of my basket handle. And then I'm going to do a little hook. So you just have the rectangle without the last line and then the little hook there. And I'm going to take my brush now and I'm going to just add a little bit of water so that it blends it in 
really nicely and bring that down into here. And then you would think that it was part of the stamp, right? So before I forget to add water to my blooms, I'm gonna do that. Once again, I'm not going to touch the stem. It's just going to be the blooms that I'm adding the water to, blurring those lines. See the lightness, the light ones kind of fade into the background and then the dark ones, they come forward. So what we wanna do now is go ahead and sign our work and date our work. So the date isn't an absolute must, but it's kind of nice to have it so that you know when you put this together. So that is the final image. And I have went ahead and mounted it onto just a basic pink cardstock. I did cut this out um, with a die cut. I think this is a Sizzix die. And then I popped it up using my Zots. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please upvote it, like it, comment below, tell me why you liked it. Subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss all the future videos. And if you have any ideas for future tutorials, please, please let me know. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great day. Bye.